What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 Cadillac Escalade. Let's get right into it with the chart. You will have a lot of options heading into 2024 for your Escalade and you better bring your wallet and your checkbook and some credit cards because you're gonna need all of it. Luxury, premium luxury, sport, premium luxury, platinum. Sport, platinum, and V-Series make your lineup. Luxury starts you off at nearly $87,000 in that top trim V-Series is way beyond that starting off at $154,300 so across these six trim levels you have a major price difference almost double what the original trim is uh, not quite but still a very big difference hopefully there's an Escalade in this lineup that can fit what you want um, and that you don't need to sell some limbs for Engine options. The standard engine on all but the V series is a 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. That's a mighty engine to have as your base. And as an option, you can get a 3 liter inline six diesel, 277 horsepower, and still 460 pound feet of torque. If you opt for the mighty V series, you're getting a supercharged version of that 6.2 liter, a mighty 682 horsepower, 653 pound feet of torque. Obviously, that is the top tier engine that you're going to be getting with a supercharger wine sounds phenomenal 10 speed automatic transmission across the board for all of those real wheel drive or all wheel drive for those uh, base trims if you can even call them that in the v series itself apart with a standard all wheel drive you can check out those mpg numbers there horrendous if you ask me i mean these are terrible numbers especially on the v series but you're probably not buying a vehicle like this for the mpgs and if you can afford a vehicle like this then I'm sure you can afford to fill it up. Real quick, before we move on here at Ben's Car Reviews, I strive to bring the most accurate railroad information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you, please like and subscribe so I can continue to grow the channel. Let's keep going. We're going to look at the Cadillac release pictures now, talk about the main features. We all know when it comes to the luxury three-row full-size SUVs, there's only one true king, and that's the Escalade. Other vehicles make a solid run for the throne, but Cadillac just always seems to be one step ahead or three steps ahead of the game, staying modern and ready to stay in the lead. The inside of the Escalade is as beautiful as the outside, and much of the Escalade hype takes place on the inside, but no doubt this exterior is stunning, and there's tons of performance as well. I could spend time going through all the visual details, but we all know, without it being said, everything here is done so well, visually and functionally. Configuring the Escalade with the ESV setup gets you an extra long Escalade, specifically from 212 inches long to 227 inches long, so that's over a foot longer, uh, about 15 inches, and all the extra length is solely for room behind the third row, so tons of storage with that ESV. Um, seems like it's literally as long as a train car if you get the ESV. Full LEDs all around, and the light feature designs are so unique to the Escalade, you definitely know what's coming down the road towards you or away from you. I think all the wheel designs are top notch, but the exclusive V-Series wheels really take the cake here. Available air ride adaptive suspension is composed of electronically controlled air springs. Available magnetic ride control reads the road 1000 times per second, so an optimally smooth and responsive ride is a result. Available electronic limited slip dip. Touring package gets you front and rear soft closed doors illuminated sill plates and air ride adaptive suspension that i just mentioned this is standard on all but the premium luxury and sport but is available on those too the onyx package is an appearance package consisting of monochromatic emblems gloss black escalade nameplate and monstrous 22 inch 12 spoke gloss black finished alloy wheels you have an 8200 pound max towing capacity on the non-esvs side note the V series goes 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, which is nuts to think about considering the size of this thing. Basically a spaceship. It also gets you some big old Brembo brakes combined with 16 inch brake rotors. That is really hard to fathom. 16 inches, that's bigger than some regular wheels are. Best bang for your buck was a tough choice initially, but then it made clear sense to me. The base two trims have a $12,000 price difference respectively. That's major. This isn't, oh well, I spent 86 k already, so what's the big deal spending 90 No, this is $12,000, and jumping that 12 k is going to get you interior amenities. You have the same engine options, the same drivetrain options, it's going to look really identical. 
I personally will never see 12,000 being worth it for extra creature comforts, especially when the interior you're already getting for 86k is phenomenal. For those reasons, I think the base trim luxury is the way to go here. Interior now. I'm ready to make a bold claim. Best interior design and range of features I've ever reviewed and seen thus far. I'm blown away with this Escalade. Cadillac defines their interior as obsessive craftsmanship, and I have to say, I agree. Natural wood finishes to hand-finished leather appointments to available premium fabrics. The showstopper is what hits you in the face like a brick wall right away, the screen. 38 inches, this is an industry-first curved OLED display and has twice the pixel density of a 4K TV. This leading-edge technology enables bold imagery, perfect blacks, and expansive color range. That is a lot to comprehend there. Let's just say... This is quite something. If screens in the front are enough for you, available rear seat entertainment provides four second and third row passengers uh, to have screens as well, lets you play video and audio from compatible devices to a 12.6 inch diagonal high def touchscreen displays mounted to the rear of the front seats. The available console refrigeration with freezer mode can hold up to six 24 ounce bottles at temperatures ranging from 41 to 23 degrees Fahrenheit when in freezer mode. You can literally have a refrigerator or freezer in your car. That's just nuts to me. Available 16 way power driver and front passenger heated and ventilated full semi aniline leather seats with massage settings, ambient interior lighting, and light piping featuring 26 color options. Available UltraView sunroof above the driver and all passengers with tilt, slide, express open and close, and such shade control. Standard AKG Studio 19 speaker audio system. This system is custom tuned to the interiors of the luxury, premium luxury and sport models for optimum sound quality. And the available AKG Studio reference audio system that provides 36 speakers. AKG is exclusive to Cadillac. Augmented reality enabled navigation basically shows you in front of your Escalade on the digital cluster area, although hopefully you're looking out there anyway through your windshield. I think this is a little bit of a gimmick. If somebody knows more about that, then let me know because I'm not really sure the point of it. Navigation will be displayed in the gauge area of the screen. Available full color heads up display, max of 121 cubic feet of cargo room. And if you opt for that ESV, you're going to go up to 142.8 cubic feet of storage. Lots of enhanced driver's assist, safety and technology features standard and more available, like hands-free super cruise technology. Overall, nothing to complain about here. Obviously, the price tag to get this is extremely high, but that's because this is an uber luxury giant vehicle. It makes sense. What an amazing ride. Interview guys, what a car we have here from Cadillac Escalade. Iconic for a long time now. It's in its third generation. If you're looking for a luxury full-size three-row SUV heading into 2024 you want to know what can compare to this thing maybe you're looking at what I would think would be the two top competitors would be a top trim Lincoln Navigator or the Yukon Denali um, perhaps a top trim Ford Expedition of course um, the Chevy Suburban High Country or Premier I think is their top trim those are pretty much sharing a body with this Escalade anyway um, but certainly don't really compare fully to what this Escalade is offering. But their price tags are not quite what this Escalade is. Certainly a top trim uh, Yukon Denali is going to be expensive, but um, not comparable each trim level to what this Escalade is. So definitely check out your options. But if you want to go all out, Escalade is the way to go. They're offering so many cool features, probably some that you didn't even know existed or that you wanted. Uh, but now that you know about them, you really want them. I, I know I wouldn't mind having this vehicle parked in my driveway. Hopefully this video late things not a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Ben's Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review.